You ever wonder what it's like to bombard an enemy ship with a cascade of cannonballs from every angle? Well, lucky for you, there's a tactic for that, and it's called the Death Spiral. And I aim to show you exactly how it's done so that you can sink anyone daring enough to take you on. So let's take a look. So a Death Spiral in Sea of Thieves is when you disable an enemy ship during combat and slowly but consistently circle around their boat, cannoning them from every angle and putting holes on all sides of their ship until they sink. The ultimate goal behind the Death Spiral is to knock down the enemy's masts and keep them from sailing all around. Naturally, chain shots are the way to go for that, but use whatever means necessary, whether it be anchor balls or rigging balls that will aid in getting the job done. The name of the game is keeping the enemy crew in place so that you can maintain a steady spiral around the point that they're trapped in, allowing for maximum pressure with minimum correction. When beginning the spiral, you don't want to find yourself getting too close to the enemy ship simply due to the fact that you very often won't be spiraling in a perfect circle when considering waves, catching wind, or even when PvE enters the fight. Therefore, it's advised that you always remember to adjust your wheel after a few shots and to keep a safe but reasonable cannon distance where you can maintain healthy cannon pressure without losing too much time readjusting your ship angle. Firebombs are also a very useful tool in causing panic or chaos amongst crews, especially along the top deck near where they'll have to go to pull up their masts. You'll want to avoid them recovering their masts at all costs. This, in turn, allows the fire to eat at their health while trying to recover and possibly killing them. So the added pressure on them and the time it buys you to begin the spiral can be crucial leading up to the sink. Once you have the enemy on the ropes and a proper spiral going, sail maintenance and wheel control will be key. You do not want to be going full speed while trying to perform a death spiral or it will send you much wider than you need to be to be effective. Maintaining a slow and steady pace going around gives you time to put large holes on all sides of the boat and is often way easier to shoot than when you blast past your target. While all of this can be done solo, it certainly never hurts to have a buddy make it all go smoother. If you have a crew member to help, you can easily perform the death spiral having one member dedicated to sailing while the other is dedicated to cannoning. Or if you're feeling really spicy, you can send your buddy over to board while you control the boat and maintain the rotation. While this should go without saying, it should be expected that most crews won't take this sitting down and will undoubtedly aim to fire back on you and force you on the defense of yourself to buy them time to recover their ship. So be sure to have blunder bombs at the ready to retaliate and disrupt their recovery, remembering that above all else, keeping them immobile is the win condition. Now that you're one step closer to being a true pirate legend, it's time you go out there and test your metal with what you've learned. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can always be notified of any upcoming videos. We stream regularly on Twitch at twitch.tv slash copiousjack with all our links located down below. And remember, it's not about the gold, it's about the glory.